So one question I get asked a lot is, how do I set up my chart and what do I really need? And really, yeah, a lot of traders trade on their mobile, and that's fine, but I prefer to keep my trading as simple as possible um, for a few good reasons. Um, some traders, for example, like let's say this is how you change your properties. So you'd go click properties, and I could change this. Let's say I want to change it to, you know, the classic red and green candlesticks. And I'll change this to lime as well. I'll change this as well. So I got my standard red and green. But long term, that's it's more strenuous on the eyes. And it makes it a little bit more polluted. And some traders I even see with ridiculous types of setups like yellow and let's say pink ugly stuff like this and it's just it's hurts the eyes it's more strenuous it's, it's just so noisy some traders really their charts look really ugly and complicated and they have tons of different indicators on there and it, it's just what indicators are best what indicators on a lot of traders they standard at macd put the macd on they they put this red and green and it just looks ugly um I'm not big on that. I keep my trading simple. We we only use one indicator, which is RSI, which has been around since for a long, long time. A lot of traders use it. It's very, very, very powerful. Holds its value, and it really will continue. So I keep my chart simple. I don't complicate it. MetaTrader is a simple platform. It's ugly. You can always edit it. If you have personal preferences, hey, if you if you want different color schemes, go for different color schemes. But I prefer to keep it. Some traders even trade on just a line chart. But it doesn't really tell me enough. Yeah, sure, I can draw, you know, support. I can draw resistance. But I, I, I need to see more of the details, right? I need to see more of where things are happening that's why you need the candlesticks right i want to see the if i zoom in i want to see exactly where we're at where's the candlesticks allow you to at least be able to put yourself into perspective of where each time frame in each time frame how much buying is really occurring how how thick are the buyers? How thick are the sellers? Is the market flat? You know, like here's the top. It, it's just easier for me to kind of pick the chart apart. And, and I, I don't, I don't draw too many crazy trend lines because trends, trends. If you try to draw too many crazy trend lines, then you know, if you you start drawing trend lines, going crazy on them, you know, here's a trend. But then I have to draw what another one. And another one, and another one, and another one, right? Another trend up here, then a trend is broken, and then I have to redraw it up here, and then it's just too complicated. It's just too much. I, I don't like doing that. I, I prefer to keep it very simple. All right, I hope that helps, and I uh, hope this is informative. Give me a thumbs up, a like, and if you have questions, always.
Thanks for watching.